Oh my goodness, friends, this is one of the funnest videos that I have ever done. I just was laying in bed one night and I was like, what if I could curate my own set of brushes and bring them to everybody? I know exactly what I get. And after doing YouTube for this long, you kind of get those brushes that, you know, you reach for every time and you're like, I wish this was like this, or I wish it was a little bit different here or something. But I have in front of me 18 brushes, so we're gonna work through pretty fast. But these are 18 brushes that if I could curate my own set of brushes, these are exactly what I would have because they suit my purposes so well. Now, I'm gonna put a timestamp right here because we always go through and we look at what I have on, and I'm gonna do that for you guys. But right here's the timestamp if you just wanna skip ahead. Also remember that we have a numbering system that I use one through however many brushes we get through today. They will all be listed in the description box. That way you don't have to remember what I'm talking about or jot them down, just remember the number. And then go in there and you can shop that way if you'd like to. All right, let's see what I've got on today. I'll start out with the shirt. The shirt is an eyelet just a knit shirt it's so cute though i bought it in the blue and i bought it in the white and it's so comfortable and i bought a medium so it's a little bit tighter but i like it with jeans it looks really cute and it's so easy to wear it's got this little flutter sleeve on it v-neck and then the rivets on here it's so so cute and then my jeans are just the levi i think they're called um signature or something like that i can't remember I always want to, I always say the wrong one. I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see. And besides that, I decided to go really trendy and wear these little platform shoes that are tennis shoes. I never thought that I would like anything like this. They're just as comfortable as the flat tennis shoes that I've worn for years and years. I'm going to come closer and I'm going to show you the jewelry. While I'm a little bit closer, I'll show you how high those are. They're so cute. They've got this mesh right here. They're comfortable and I can wear them all day long. And I just thought they were fun. They might be too young for me, but I don't know. I'm feeling pretty young today. So I really like these. And then my earrings, every time I wear these, you guys like them. I love them. I believe they come in gold. This is the silver. They're just a beautiful, bright, light catching heart hoop. Perfect size for me. Everything was perfect about them. I love them. And then I remembered that I did have another heart necklace. This just has a little riding stone in the center of it. And then it lays on its side. All right, all kinds of fun stuff. I'm going to start with face brushes. I love face brushes more than I love eyeshadow brushes. And I think that's because I'm such a blush fiend right now. I mean, give me all the blush in the world. I love blushes right now. So I'm going to start out with the brush that when I use this on camera, I get asked every single time what this brush is. This is an IT Cosmetics brush that is sold only at Ulta. And this is the Mega Powder brush that is a duo fiber brush. I did clean all of these so you guys, I could have clean brushes for you. So I love it because look how big it is for one thing. I also love it because it has that duo fiber up here, which is super duper soft and then very dense down here, but it's huge. And every time I want to put a very light dusting of powder on, I break this baby out. It buffs in everything wonderfully, but it's soft at the same time. And it doesn't pick up more than you need and you can, you know, just tap it off and all the excess goes off instead of being too much powder down in there. This is a perfect brush for finishing powder. It's a really great brush and I have had it for probably six years and never once hardly done my makeup without it because it's that good. Another brush that I've had for probably six years because I got it in um, I think it was a boxy charm and I haven't gotten boxy charm for years and years But this one is from crown brush and it is the kabuki fan brush Now I have suggested to you guys the ones that were on Amazon and they are great too They're pretty much just exactly the same But you can get this from crown brush as well and i'll make sure that I link both of those My main thing that I do with it is do all of my contour with it, but you can do blush highlighter bronzer anything you want to with this so what i'll do is i actually will take it and i will push it into a scoop like that and then i'll go in and i'll do my contour right there and i'm telling you it's the perfect shape and you just it's so easy and it blends so fast and then of course across the forehead and you know down the chin and you know disguising all of the jawline stuff this has just been my workhorse and i should say that this is my work horse brushes. They are my favorite brushes. They have been with me. I feel like they're good old friends. You know, they're just great. This one right here, 
every time I go to look for this, this was a special occasion brush from Sonia Kashuk at Target, but it's, it's called a specific brush and I'll make sure that I list it for you below. But you can buy this, but it's in a different packaging now. It's not got the gold and the black with the angled uh, gold on the bottom. It doesn't have this packaging anymore. And it's weird because I see them when I go into Target and I think, oh, that's that brush. But I feel like this one for some reason is, is just maybe better. Maybe it's because it's been used so much that it's so fluffy now. But this is the perfect rounded powder brush. And this brush is so good for me with any sort of setting powder, loose powder, or if it is, you know, pressed powder. It's perfect because I can dip it in the powder and then, you know, kind of buff it a little bit and all the powder goes down in there. So I'm not getting too much on at once. Tap it off as usual and then buff. And this blurs out so well. It's the tool that helps you like powder again. It just buffs it everything in so nicely. And what I'll do lots of times with this brush is when I'm completely done with my face, I'll go over all of my makeup without this thing even having any powder on it and just really blend everything together and it just makes everything look seamless. So this is another one that I have had for a very long time and is my dear friend. Okay, this little nugget right here, Emily Noel, she is the one that turned me on to this little brush this is from elf it's like three or four dollars it's hardly anything but it is this small stipple brush for a while they went out of production and i think that everybody revolted and said we need our small stipple brush so this one can do so much so if you're somebody that has very dainty very small features this is perfect for just about anything i would say that except for putting you know buffing in powder or blush you can do your highlighter with it. You can do your contour with it you, up in your you know, hairline. You can do your nose contour with it. This is a great little powerhouse brush. And if you want to just put a little dab on the edge of it right here for of shadow or bronze or whatever, and then put it across your eyelids, you got a one and done look. This is so nice. And I love that it's just a few dollars. So good. And then the next one I have is from Perfusion. And this one, I hope that I can find. If I can't find it, I'll make sure that I will link one that is comparable because this is a really cool brush. Look how fine that is. It's airy and fine and just this very long tapered powder brush that is, I, is what I use for highlighter. So it just puts down just a tiny amount, just the perfect amount instead of putting so much on your face. Anything more dense than this, you would have a hard time with, but this just seems to be perfect. And I love this one too, same thing. I had another one and I don't know what company it was from and I don't even know if Profusion makes these anymore, but if they do, they're only a few dollars too. So love this brush as well. And then my standard blush brush uh, uh, forever. I can't even, I can't even think how long I've had this what, long before I had a YouTube channel. This is another it brush and you can only buy this on it cosmetics website. I, however, got mine off of QVC with two blushes in it, which was such a good deal on a daily special or whatever today's special value, whatever it's called. Anyway, angled brush, duo fiber, very airy right here on the end. This is the perfect blush brush because not only is it the perfect size for my cheeks, but it's also perfect for cream blush. So you can just pick up the cream blush and it doesn't pick up so much that, you know, you're going to get so a ton on liquid cream powder. It doesn't really matter. You're going to love this brush. It's fantastic. So yes, I love this brush. I've loved it for a long time and yeah, it's so special to right, me. The next brush is from Hourglass and I love this duo sided brush. It's just, I have loved it forever. I actually find myself reaching for this when I'm in a hurry more than any other brush that I have. It's a very quality brush for one thing. And again, it's a dual fiber brush and I did not get to clean this one for you today, but I use this one constantly. I love the dome shape on the blush part of it. You don't have to use this just for blush. You could use it for bronzer, powder, blush, highlighter, anything. I find that this one right here on this side is perfect for under eye, little tiny bit of powder under my eyes, or if I wanna do just a tiny bit of highlighter across my cheeks too. 
this is a great brush. I wish they'd come out with like six of these duo sided ones that had all different shapes and stuff. They do have a couple on Amazon. They're called do care, do care that are nowhere near this price, but, and I'll make sure that I link those for you in case you're interested. I still find that this one is a little bit better quality. I've never lost any hair out of them. And that's the other thing that makes this bunch of brushes so special is that they're so good quality that I don't really ever have to worry about them breaking apart. I mean, to have a brush for seven, eight, nine years, that's pretty darn good. So all of these I've had at least for two years and if not longer. So that's all the face brush side. Let's get into the eye brushes. And I took a lot of time on the face brushes. So I'm gonna go through these fairly quickly with the eye brushes. So Refer has some of the best brushes for eye brushes. I love them. The Refer, let's talk about 16. This one is super fluffy and I love this one to go over my eyeshadow and just blend all of my eyeshadow together. You can use this as a transition, you know, fluffy brush if you want to, but I find that going over everything with it after my eye look is done just makes everything like the big fluffy brush on the face. It just makes everything look seamless and so pretty. This is the original 01. This is what made me fall in love with Refer because this was the perfect size. I was having so much trouble because all of my brushes were so big, but this is just the perfect size to do precision work, but you can still blend everything out if you want to. The O1, I feel like it, it started it all for me for Refer. It's just such a good brush. I love it so much. And then this one, which is the 15, is just a little bit bigger, like you can see. So you buff out just a little bit more. So I actually will use this for my transition shade. Then I'll go in with the O1 for my crease shade blend that all out. And then I actually will come in next with this one from BK Beauty. I've almost rubbed everything off of there. It is, it's the Angle 208. This one does the work for me when I want to work on this outer corner out here. It will lay everything down and then I can really blend it out. Love it. And then if I want to have a paddle brush or a concealer, flat concealer brush, anything like that, this one right here, which is the Refer, 2.8. Is it 2.8 or 2.6? I'm blind as bad. It's 2.8. All right. This one works really good to get way in here in the corners and just really lay down, pack down that eyelid color. And if you're somebody like me that likes the shimmer on the eyelids, spray it a little bit, pack it with color, and then put it across your lid. Blends so well. So those are some great ones. Every brush kit I feel like should have some sort of of a brow spoolie with you know the angled brush right here i think this one is from iconic london really good because that little brush on this side is stiff but it's not so stiff that it's going to poke you and gouge it you could use that for a liner brush if you wanted if you want to talk liner brushes though bk beauty knocked it out of the park with this one and this is one that i would want in a collection that i did too oh this is a 208 what did i say that other one was maybe this one is a 206 maybe it's a 205 the angled one is a 205 oh my gosh okay so this is a 208 and this is her teeny tiny I mean, that baby does some precision work. You can get the finest line for your eyeliner you want. Flick a wing. It's just so pretty. This little brush is just such an indispensable little brush. And especially if you have, you know, crinkly eyelids like I do that move around and you can't get a wing at all. You know, if you put a guide up there and then you just use this little brush, you have it done because this little brush has done it for you. So I love that thing. Then of course this brush that Angie Hot and Flashy did, and this is the concealer brush. This is perfectly angled to be able to go up in here and do concealer. I find that I use this a lot more um, in the summer than I do in the winter. In the winter, I seem to want to use my finger, but it's a really great brush. This has been the, one of their best selling brushes and you can get it singly now. And as far as concealer goes, it really does buff out your concealer with perfection. And then if you have a little bit of a mess over here with your eyeshadow, it just takes it just perfectly up there and you can really get a nice little crisp line on your eyeshadow with this brush, you know, using concealer over it to disguise whatever mess that you may have caused like I do. And then this is a Morphe brush. And I know so many people don't like Morphe and I get it. That's okay, but I do love this little brush. This is the M213. Now you wanna talk again about the BK Beauty in that teeny tiny little brush. This is a teeny tiny little domed paddle brush that can get into this inner 
part right here on your eye where we want to put a little bit of highlighter to bring light to that area. You're not going to get too much in there. And if you need more, you can pack it on. And I think this is such a good little brush. I really like it. And then with the Angie Hot and Flashy line, did come this other one too. It's A502. This is just a teeny tiny little smudger brush. Or not smudger brush, fluffy blending brush. So I'll show you. Here is the original refer brush, the 01. And then this one is the A, what did I say it was? It's the A502. So you can see that they're the same length, but look how thin that one is from Angie Hot and Flashy. So good. This is a BK Beauty brush, by the way. Um, so this is perfect for people that have hooded eyes or smaller eyes. This is just a really good little precision brush if you need that. And a lot of people love having that and it's great to have in your kit. But Sigma's best brush, in my humble opinion, <laughs> <laughs> is the E30 pencil brush. I think this is the best pencil brush I've ever used, is the best smudger brush I've ever used. It will give you a very precision line if you want it to. You just stick to the tip of the brush or you can smudge it out with shadow and it really does smudge out well, but you're not getting powder everywhere because it's kind of dense so it's not going to be flicking powder and you know eyeshadow all over the place you know obviously you tap it off so you get any excess but i do absolutely love how very pointed this brush is this one again i've had it forever so girlfriends what do you think of what i chose i am so in love with all these brushes and this was so fun for me to be able to look at these and go yeah, I use these. I mean, I don't use every single brush in here every single time I do my makeup, but the face brushes I use a lot, most of them. And then the eyeshadow brushes, I at least use five brushes when I'm doing my eyeshadow. So this is, this is, would be like a dream come true. So maybe someday when I get rich and famous and I'm able to do that, I will do it for all of you. But in the meantime, you can buy all of these separately. I'll make sure that they're all listed and linked down below. I hope that you did enjoy this video because I sure enjoyed doing it for you. Tell me what your favorite brush is and I'll go check it out. Definitely, because I love to hear your recommendations so, so much. Thanks for being with me today. And I'm gonna go away with my bouquet of brushes and I want you to take care of yourselves. I love you and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye, my friends.